The daughter of the former National Intelligence Director will spend the next three decades in prison for stabbing her friend to death in a Rockville home. Today, a judge sentenced Sophia Negroponte. News 4's Derek Ward has reaction from the victim's family. 29-year-old Sophia Negroponte and 24-year-old Yusef Rasmussen came from similar backgrounds. She was adopted as a baby from an orphanage in Honduras by the former U.S. ambassador to Honduras, John Negroponte, and his wife. Yusef Rasmussen had been adopted as well, also into a successful and influential family. It was one of the reasons the two bonded. He was an extraordinary person. And uh, I think that's reflected in everyone who came today. Yusef's adopted father, Stephen Rasmussen, was surrounded by friends and family of the victim as he spoke after today's sentencing, where Sofia Negroponte was sentenced to 35 years in prison after being convicted in January of second-degree murder and the death of the man she described as a best friend. The judge went above the suggested Maryland, Maryland sentencing guidelines in this case. The relationship between Youssef and Sophia was described as platonic and often playful. It was like that on a February night in 2020 when Youssef was killed. It was just like, you know, adolescent fun and they would wrestle. They had been wrestling earlier in the evening. Youssef had left the Rockville home but returned for his cell phone. When he came back to get his cell phone, she armed herself with a knife and attacked him and stabbed him in the neck. In a voice wavering with emotion, Sofia Negroponte spoke on her own behalf, saying she knew that Yousef's family was devastated, that he was a beautiful, loving, caring person, and she said she was ashamed of what happened that night and truly sorry. But Judge Terrence McCann said that she hadn't been truthful about that night to police and on the stand in her trial. She had anger issues throughout her entire life. There were issues about her anger problems. There were also issues of the complicity of alcohol and the amount of drinking that had been going on. Prosecutors called Negroponte, quote, a powder keg ready to go off. The defense called the killing of Rasmussen an accidental death. Now his family is left only with the positive differences he made in their lives. We were all affected in some way by him and his life. And as parents, uh, it may have affected us more. In Rockville, Derek Ward, News 4.